I think I had a strong husband. He never did hit me. The way I could talk, you let we women talk. If you just let us talk, we won't have to want to hit you. We could just cut you down with words. So some men just get tired of that and just slap them. <laughs> well, if you could forgive them, who am I to tell you don't forgive them? I ought to be encouraged you to forgive them. Some women say, well, my husband left, you know, and the Bible said, unbeliever, leave. Well, you're not under the Bible. But God knows what you did to, to make them leave. Amen. Huh? Because he wasn't saved, you wouldn't be a wife to him. He don't go to church with me. No. Poor man laying in the living room on the couch. And you saved him. Well, he left. Well, it wasn't no choice. He had to go if he was going to live. The Bible says, sanctify the wife, sanctify the husband. He's warned by your chaste conversation. What does that mean? Your clean conduct. Your lifestyle. Said even without the word, you don't have to drag him to church for him to get saved. God could save him where he's at. One woman did that. She'd done the word, and her husband was wicked. He just, ooh, before, he got, before they got saved, they was just dub dub it. After she got saved, ooh, it was just, how many know, the Bible, Jesus said he didn't come to bring peace, he come to bring a soul. People be against one another. The one who received Jesus, the other going to be against the normal cap. your husband, your children. It brings division. You in one spirit, and they in another spirit. Well, I just don't understand. Look like my family don't enjoy me. Well, you ought to get in the Word and accept it. That's reason some of you ought to be in Sunday school instead of running around somehow trying to minister. You ain't got enough knowledge to know how to stay in your home. You may have a gift. You may have a little anointing. You ain't got no knowledge. You're going to shipwreck somewhere. It don't take long for God to raise you up and bless you where you're able to praise God and have a testimony, and that helps people. But don't let that cause you to think you're ready to get out somewhere and you're going to lose. Because usually where you go and try to help somebody, you can't get nothing. So a few trips like that, you're going to be drinking out. Then you're going to go home and you're going to find out you ain't able to stand nothing. And what you've been in, enduring and praying for that person, you're going to be ready to push them out. I got, I got to have God in my house. I can't be in this house with you. You the devil. And God done said that we'd cast out devils. We're trying to cast the person out instead of living so that God will cast the spirit out of them. God hates sin, but he loves sinners. And I get a little leery, and, and I'll be trusting God that people will understand. Sometimes violence will be going on, and, and they say something, and it's the truth there, but it's dangerous. And somebody say, uh, you don't need to be in the house of the devil. You better remember that Jesus said, if you sanctified, you'll sanctify that devil. Amen. 